Greetings folks and welcome to this next project of mine, Let's Play Coffee Talk Blind. I hope you have a cozy beverage nearby so you can sip along with me as we go through this new adventure. I have my best cat mom mug nearby with my favorite Earl Grey tea in it, so um, I hope you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy this with me. Let's go ahead and make a new profile. And we're going to go ahead and name ourselves, myself, Alex, because I'm original and creative. And that is correct. Let's not mess with any of the options, we're just going to get right into it. So far I love this game, it's like a sexy kind of chill vibe to it. Mm. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks and then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. I love this loading screen, by the way. Ooh, welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Alex, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Hmm, Freya. I love that name. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forgot how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, so she said to check our phone. And I'm assuming it's brew pad that we're going to. And she wants an espresso, so it's coffee, coffee, coffee. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Oh my goodness, I'm getting chills from these descriptions. All right, so let's close out of this. 
Now we know that we have coffee, coffee, coffee as a base. And this is a coffee here, so we'll add one, two, and three. And then brew it. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and serve this bad boy. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry? <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. And... Well? Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for her. This is a wonderful. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. And that was last week. Oh. Again, don't look at me like that. Oh, sorry. How far along are you? Uh. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero? <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh my god! Hello! Welcome! Hi there! Hello! Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. 
I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our brew pad to see what exactly we can make her that is chocolatey with no coffee. So chocolate, 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 and dark chocolate. I think I'm just gonna stick with that. It's safe and it's what she wants. So a warm and calming darkness. Mm. This game's descriptions and just this game in general is giving me such chills. Whew, okay, so chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. So I'm assuming that's this. Chocolate, and chocolate, and chocolate. It's better, but it's sweet and it's cool, kind of. All right, let's go ahead and serve this. Hopefully she likes it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. And that's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Alex here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Alex can manage. Freya, you're making me blush. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So, you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Ooh. Dang, welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Oh, look. <laughs> 
don't know how to do that. Okay, so he wants something better to keep him awake. Oh, perfect. It's right up there at the top, so I don't forget. So let's go ahead and go to our brew pad and see. He wants something to keep him awake, so obviously coffee with milk and draw some art. So either one of these, because they have the froth at the top where you can draw the art. Mm, but do we do... Let's do a cappuccino just because he wants to stay awake and it has milk in it. So let's try that. So we'll do coffee, coffee, milk, Italian delight. So let's go ahead and add some coffee, coffee, and some milk. Okay, so it's warm, cool, kind of bitter. Okay, so it is bitter, something bitter, awesome. And then he wants art at the top, correct. Do we do the art after? Well, obviously after we brew it. Can I do the art? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Um, let's see if I can do this. Um, hmm? Pour milk. Oh, duh. Okay, so pour milk. and like milky <laughs> I don't know can I turn this Move cursor rotate cup oh okay and then he wants something on it right okay Oops. oh shit oh no <laughs> I fucked it up oh here's your order sir no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing this on my controller and not on the Switch directly. Fuck! <laughs> I can't even... Okay. <laughs> Is that what you call latte art? That's cute. Perfect. At least it's perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. <laughs> Baileys, okay. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you, I'm Alex. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographs for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine, work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Alex here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good lesson to learn for the day. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't even have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they say about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. How about if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. No! <laughs> it doesn't have to be. You know, our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding a relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Aww. I don't mind a bit. making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of 
course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Oh. I can't think about this clearly right now. And neither can I. I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you stay tuned for more of the inside look of all of these amazing characters' lives. Thank you so much again for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.